Hey, Andy Pleasant. Good evening to everyone joining us today. Um, welcome to another video by the Shopify Store Builder coming to you from St. Petersburg, Florida. From my nice, comfortable, lean back, folding out chairs, like super cozy leather and all these good things. But um, <laughs> today is the start of another series um, we're gonna do a store build um, reason is um, the last video I did is a bit outdated since Shopify changed their systems so we're just gonna do you know how to get a store together how to build and we're gonna do it from scratch and that little sound you might be hearing in the background that's my one plus five if you haven't got one of these phones and you need a phone get one it's good for you it's a great phone for ecom all right so first things first we need to find a niche to sell in or um, we need to know what we're gonna do or what kind of store we're gonna make now a lot of persons will tell you to do a general store um that's totally fine if you'd like to do that i'm not really into general stores that much because um they're really hard to you know brand and you know make into a big brand but what i like doing is um new stores but that gives us an extra problem you know finding a niche but today we are gonna just go through look at some niches see if they're good see if they're good for us and um, we're gonna use Facebook Aliexpress Amazon eBay and Instagram to do this so let's just jump in and the first thing we're gonna do is just go to best selling on Aliexpress and best selling on Amazon as well. You we want um, to just look up best selling here. Our best sellers on Amazon. All right what this will do is give you niche ideas so right away we have um knife sharpener for kitchen um mind you for each review you get on amazon you get around five to six sales on the item so the amount of sales on this item is about five to six times this amount and we're seeing fake fake flawless this is um, these are soaps and stuff like that um, we won't be selling any electronics we won't be selling any baby clothing or baby items anything that an infant will be using we definitely won't be selling um, anything that's pharmaceutical or pseudo pharmaceutical so shampoos and um, face mask and stuff like that we're not gonna be selling those um, we won't be selling knives well weapons weapons we won't be selling any form of weapons either the reason we're not gonna be selling those is because um, you'll either have problems um, advertising on Facebook selling these items are problems with your payment processors that is um, a lot of credit card processors won't accept these products on sites so you'll be stuck using just PayPal and believe you me you do not want that <laughs> moving on we have mobile items here this blinging toilet <laughs> accessories <laughs> like good guess toilet accessories sells great on Amazon <laughs> uh, we have this again um, sheet set this this is really tempting you know it's real tempting to, to go in activated charcoal products but just don't 
as I said, pseudo-pharmaceuticals, um, more kitchen item, no odor, no odor dishcloth for all-purpose dishwashing, um, three packs, that's good. Okay, don't know what that is, we're just going to skip over this. Oh, okay. So, so far we see that kitchen looks pretty good. Mr. Coffee Mug Warmer, that's an electronic item, so I wouldn't really mess with it, but shows you the theme. This sandwich maker. A digital tire gauge uh, but yeah seen a lot of stuff there for kitchen um, here in the Aliexpress we're looking through the best sellers here it's a compression bar band belts bracelets socks just scrolling through to see what are our best items or our best options we could do a men's store a men wallet store it would probably work well but hey so that's an idea for someone um float accessory cases phone accessories Okay, I'm, I'm thinking about doing something in the, the cooking niche. So, um, since Amazon gave us that idea, let's check AliExpress for cooking products. So, we're going to go cooking accessories. And we want to see if the items in this niche um, are selling. So... A thousand orders, six hundred and nine orders right off the bat, even without um really checking the proper way for sales. Let's just do that now. So first we wanna start by four stars and up. Then we want to start by the amount of orders each item has. And Nine thousand, almost ten thousand orders, almost nine thousand, almost eight thousand. So, kitchen items are doing pretty, pretty well. <laughs> They're doing wonderfully. <laughs> um, let's check eBay. Now, this is just a validation check. Um, could go cooking accessories. Just to see what comes up, seven thousand for watching. Um, we want to check sold listings, and one has sold today. Today is August the third, twenty seventeen. Um, this has sold today, so. Cooking is doing pretty well. August 2nd, yeah, it's doing pretty well. Here we have some accessories. But what about baking? You know, persons bake and persons cook. Um, let's check baking accessories. Oh. <laughs> well baking wrong <laughs> all right and hit orders and four stars and up Yes, we do have great items here. It's 
So yeah. So we're seeing that it's a cupcake holder, it's a pan. Um, might want to check molds as well. Alright. Cake. Let's do cake decorating tools. So that's one way to really niche down. So wow, twenty seven thousand sales. Let's okay. So I really like the baking niche. <laughs> really, really like the baking niche. Hmm. But first, before I, I decide to build a baking store, we need to validate the niche. So we are gonna go to cake. Pops right up in Amazon. That means someone has been searching for this. Yes, we have this this particular spreader in a set. We saw this. <laughs> These are being sold as well. This is just this and another image that's being sold. Everything here cupcake mold or cupcake decorator um, and we can see how many sales these items are making so we're gonna use unicorn smasher it's an Amazon plugin it's totally free and it shows you the amount of reviews the rank of the item the price and the estimated sales per month so one item here has been doing almost 50 grand a month 50k a month selling baking goods so we definitely like this well i definitely like it <laughs> and what we're gonna do next is just search for look to see if other persons are selling baking goods so First, we type in in Facebook search post about. Then we want to use um our um quotes post about baking and wanna add go that the and see what we get sorry about that it's just right there um 17k <laughs> let's just check the post see what we have we're looking to see if persons are making sales this one I love baking yep persons are definitely making sales um, in the baking niche even though they are selling t-shirts I like you I bake for you like <laughs> simple yet it sells <laughs> so yes persons are in the baking niche you know they are selling items in there that means there is an audience to target there persons ah uh, that's 17k all right just to ensure that we have it 
Liverpool Tallyrite, we're going to check audience insights as well. So you go to business.facebook.com, you want to go to your ads account, and I'm going to use this one. Then all tools and audience insights. So we want everyone on Facebook. The country should be United States. And let's see if we have anyone interested in baking. Oh. My baking addiction. Like we have proof in baking. Kate Boss Bacon. But let's just see bacon first, broad. Twenty to twenty-five million active people. So yes, we do have an active audience on Facebook who are interested in bacon. We could check again bacon power. nine hundred K so yes we have great interest to target as well so we're gonna move on to the next bit so we can target on Facebook but can we target on Instagram because a lot of persons um, when they start the store they are like okay so Facebook and then they get on Facebook and realize they need to do a lot of testing and it's a bit expensive but they didn't check Instagram and then they want to use influencers. Now we'll be using influencers to validate this store. Um, we'll be making, we'll try to make a sale on it and we'll know if it works. So, first things first, we are gonna do hashtag baking. And then we want to look for the posts that have very high engagements. For example, this one. Then we check out her account. 2.5 million followers. Yes, there are influencers on Instagram who are into baking. And let's check this one. Dessert B. Yes, 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 yes. That is wonderful. 639K and very active engagement. Alright, this is good. And they even have a way to contact them. Email for promotional inquiries. Now, if you're on Instagram, um, then you'd see the option to email these guys um, directly. But because I'm on the laptop, then it won't show. So we have our niche. We are going into the baking niche. There it is. So now go forth, find a niche, um, get your ideas together, you know, find a few niches, find more than one. And I'm also going to be including a set of evergreen niches um, with this, with this video. Just check the link in the, the description for it um, and as I said follow the process find yourself a couple niches and pick the best one alright so in the meantime please remember to subscribe share and like and hopefully you find you guys find wonderful evergreen self-sustaining niches alright